Moodle has a feature known as course completion, which in this case, I'm going to go into the course settings and then course completion. And the way that it works is you have different criteria, usually activity completion, and you identify which activities they have to complete in order for the whole course to be considered as complete. But the problem is, if you have a scenario where certain students do certain activities and other students do other activities, you can't then use the course completion uh, kind of as, as using the standard method. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a third party plugin known as Pulse. And this is relatively new, so it's still being developed. Um, this will allow us to actually kind of overcome that problem. So what you have to do is get this particular plugin installed. And then once it's installed, I'm going to turn editing on. And I'm going to add my Pulse into my course. Now, what I've got here is a scenario where I've got two assignments and I've got two groups. There's group A and there's group B. Group, both group A and B have to do assignment one, so there are no restrictions set on that assignment. However, only the students in group B have to do assignment two. And I want to set um, course completion so that if you're in group A, it tracks that you've done assignment one. If you're in group B, it tracks that you've done both assignment one and assignment two. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this pulse that I've had installed on my Moodle. Now the pulse, it has a series of presets which you could use, but we're going to ignore those for the moment. We're just going to create our own. And I'm going to set it up so that the students don't actually see it. I'm just using the mechanism uh, as a way of, uh, of working the cross completion. You could set it so they do see it, but I'm just going to set it without. Um, so I'm going to call it the assignment Assignments completed is going to be the title and in the content, I have to put something. So I'm just going to put well done, but the students won't see it in my setup. So it doesn't matter. Now, um, an invitation for reference would actually send emails either to the students or to the teachers. So that can be quite a useful feature, but I'm not using that in this scenario. What I am going to do is in common module settings. Now, for this to work, we either have to use show on course page or make available but not shown. I'm going to choose the make available but not shown just so it doesn't clutter the page up. If you did want the students to see this, then you would just choose show on course page. And what would happen is once they've completed the right number of assignments for their group, then they would see whatever messages you put in here. Now, the key is the restrict access. This is what makes it work. So we've got to set the restriction up so that the group A students will see this message once they've achieved assignment one and the group P will see it once they've achieved assignment one and assignment two. Now we're going to use uh, access restrictions and we're going to use restriction sets. If you've never used these before, you'll need to kind of look up how they work before uh, trying to proceed. But I'm going to add two restriction sets, one for group A and one for group B. So with my first restriction set, I have to add an restriction for the group and that's group A. And then I have to add activity completion. Assignment one must be marked complete. So I've got group A have to have done assignment one. I'm now adding another restriction at the bottom and it's a restriction set. This time it's for group B. And what they have to do is both assignment one and assignment two. So group A have to do that, group B have to do that. Now what I'm going to do is the overall restriction is going to be any. So they either have to be part of group A and meet all of the criteria within that restriction set, or they have to be part of group B and meet all of the criteria within that restriction set. And then I'm going to hide the whole activity. So that's what put in the line through the eye does here so they don't see it until the conditions are met now in this case i've used groups but you could use any combination of things to do the differentiation let's say you had an example um if the students got let's say 90 percent in a quiz then that's it they've passed but if they've got between 60 percent and 90 percent they have to do a second activity you could do the same thing here so rather than using groups you would use their score in the first quiz 
um, as the way of differentiating. So you could use quite complicated mechanisms of restricting access so that different people see different things and it all tracks. We then need to do activity completion for this pulse. And we need to set it so that it is activity is complete when conditions are met. And all we're going to choose is completion when available. So in other words, as soon as this pulse is available, e.g. the students have met the criteria I've just set above, then the pulse itself will mark as being complete. So I save and return to course. Now, the item here appears below the assignments because that's why I've added it in my particular setup. I can see the restrictions here as the teacher. The students don't see any of this. And then what I can now do is I can go up to the course completion. And rather than me choosing the assignments individually, all I'm going to do is choose the single pulse. So all the students have to do is complete the pulse. And the course will be marked as complete. Now, the thing to note in case it catches you out is you have to make sure that the course is still within the valid dates. So the start date has to be in the past and the end date either needs to be unticked or it still needs to be within. Because if you don't do that, the pulse doesn't work. So you need to change those if the pulse doesn't work. So now what will happen is the students in group A on completing assignment one, that pulse will basically become marked as complete and they mark complete the course. Students in group B, once they've completed both assignments, same thing happens, the pulse becomes available to them, and in doing so, they've completed the course. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.